Hey guys, welcome back to CK2, a Game of Thrones as House Ander. Uh, we progress into what I fear might be the last few years for Duncan of the Riverlands. Um, last time we sent off John Nash, that is, uh, to be a mercenary commander after he made himself a formidable fighter. Um, dear father-in-law, we decided to give you the position of commander. Sure, why not? All these messages coming through. I'm not having... Not having her trained by a lunatic westerman, I'm sorry. In fact, I'm gonna ask... Where's the... Where's the, um... Educate child, there it is. Why couldn't I see that for a moment? I'm still ill. I'm recording this on the ill day, but I'm feeling better. It's a couple of hours later since I recorded today uh, that day's episode. Um, getting some pre-recording done because I know I'm going to run out of time if I don't. I know I've got to do a load of Hearts of Iron coming up because my series is about to end of that. And I've got to finish off EU4, which I'm not sure if I'll bring back as EU4 for a little bit. I'm thinking maybe some Civ 5 um, with Civ 6 on the horizon. Might be good to give that another go. That, or I was thinking of doing an EU4 modded series. Maybe some Fallout. That could be fun. Um, yeah, so, as always, I'm I'm sorry if I'm not my usual chipper self. I am... Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like... It currently feels like there's a marble running through my sinus... The sinuses in my skull. This guy's in my prison. Do we call for a trial, or do we just leave him there? I mean, I kind of just want to ransom him, but I also kind of want to trial him, because trials are fun. Especially if they're trialed by combat. Um, I'm no longer in command. Uh, yeah, Na John Nash, you really need to sort out your hair, dude. Elective succession in the Iron Throne. Which it was for a little while, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. Damn. Uh, oh, a chance to prove my worth. Kind of old to be doing, uh, participating in tournaments, but hey-ho, let's give it a go. Let's go back to direct vassals. It's a nicer view. Oh, uh, your squire, John Nash, has finally become a grown man. His training under your gunship has come to an end. A knight. As a knight, you can choose to knight young N John Nash if you deem him worthy. Yes, he has earned it. Knighthood. Your grandson, John Nash, has proven himself a fine warrior. You have, you have him kneel before you and proceed to tap his shoulders with your sword. John, John Nash of House Ander. In the name of the warrior, I charge you to be brave. In the name of the father, I charge you to be just. In the name of the mother, I charge you to defend the young and innocent. In the name of the maid, I charge you to protect all women. In the name of the seven, I charge you to be honourable. Arise, Sir John Nash. Who is in charge of a mercenary company. And he also got knighthood before 18. That's a first for this family. Oh, need a new bodyguard. Anyone who's a good fighter, Garin, will do. Mr. Garin. Lord Damon the second of Ashermark. Hmm. It's quite the fighter. Okay, I shall ready my horse. Okay, who am I fighting? Willard. Steady. Hit. A new tilt begins. Uh, I was not invited to my friend. Maybe he forgot. Uh, maybe he forgot. Uh, hit. Gonna knock this guy off if I... Oh, I keep missing him. Hit. 
don't need a fray, I'm sorry. Fine hit, I must say, finally. Knocked him off. No one can beat me. Lord John Ander under Theo Underhill were the next in the joust. Broken lances. Theo was eventually unhorsed, leaving John to be declared the winner. Winner. He fought well. Am I going to end up against my son? I'm against my son. Okay. Steady. Oh dear, I've been knocked off by my horse. My son. He's a much better thing. As always, next time. I've been unhorsed by my I'm um, unhorsed by my boy. I'm kind of okay with that. Although I was not triumphant. I, oh, I, I finished second, and my son finished first. So I've got third places, second places, and a first place. My son has a first place. Elmer? No, we actually have someone who has requested a name, and I can't remember what it was. I need to grab up... Um, I need to grab up YouTube and look at my comments section, because there was definitely someone who wanted a character named for them. And it wasn't the name of the commentator either, otherwise I would have remembered it was something special. It was like Ro Rocknor? Ro Ro Rocknor? Come on. Load. This is a son of Jorin. Ragnarok. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. This is Ragnaroth Ander. <laughs> Ragnaroth Ander. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. No. Dum dum. Yeah, Ragnaroth Ander. Depose King Titus faction. So amazingly, although being a cripple, uh, Jorin is still managing to father ch children. Um, let him rot. Who are you? Master of the Laws of the Iron Throne. Master of Ships. What does he mean? Uh, a sound investment. Yeah, I'll invest some money into that. Still sitting around 600 gold. Not making much of progress on that. John Nash wants to see our house on the fr Iron Throne. <laughs> it's ambitious. Um, her oh, he's finally having his coronation. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll attend. Oh, he's, oh, he's been maimed. Oh dear, John Nash has been maimed. Uh, it's not appropriate. How did that happen? Maybe in hunting? God damn it, John! You've become the first formidable fighter I've ever created in this, this let's, in this entirety of YouTubing on the Game of Thrones CK2, and you've maimed yourself. Damn. Well, at least we know how to train children properly now. And that seems like a crash. Yep. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. As always, it's a mod. You know, th the crashes happen. They happen a lot. Uh, I guarantee my computer's also probably partially to bother. To bother? To blame is probably what I meant. Uh, the, the, the king on the Iron Throne, long may he live. Let's, let's also not halt. Yeah. Not sure long may he live is, uh, exactly what we want, but, you know. Hmm. Great share. Great Shah. Great Shah of the Iron Throne, Lady of the Riverlands. Isn't she Queen? I'm very confused. But yes. Uh, Nat John was, uh, 
maimed, unfortunately. He's had two daughters already. One uh, attractive girl. And... One girl with a lisp. Very good. Uh, since I like good levy reinforcement rates going up, getting a lot of troops there now. Um, become regent. Become a friend to your liege. No, don't really want to. Get, what What are the options? What's the crown one? Obtain a greater throne. Fall in love. I want to gain an honorary title of office. I want to be hand of the king. Yes, I will reward my son. Uh oh. Winter's hit. I've finally lost the trait widowed. Which is kind of good. Uh. Okay, approve. Yeah, I'll go to a tournament. I can remarry, which is nice. A nine-year-old club-footed girl. In charge of where? She's Vale. It's House Wainwood. Oh, we'll see. Maybe I should marry someone more my age. Hmm. Whoa. Finance is a realm of in poor state. The Iron Throne is urgent need of gods. So I hereby request you provide a loan from a loan for House Lannister. From you at twenty five percent interest. No, I I, I will uh, I'll do the loan at interest. I know, I know, we're spending all our money. Let's hope we get it back. Well, Lannisters always re repay their debts, don't they, so... Steady. Oh, who am I fighting? Sir Tristan Cox. He's ten, so he could knock me off. Yep. A visitor. A, you receive a visitor from a, a brothel from fav from the famous septuary at Quiet, Quiet Isles. It tells you that uh, brothers... Oh, not a brothel. A brother... He tells you the brothers spend much of their days in, devoted in prayer that always mention the names of the most pious in faith and prayers. If you demonstrate your immense piety by donating large sum of gold to the septuary, you will be amongst those prayers for the brothers. There's a hundred gold, gain fifty prestige, gain fifty piety. I'm sure they'll manage. Ouch, I've been not I've been dehorsed already. Damn. Oh well. Worth a try. So UD's Vance. This guy won. Oh, fair enough. Um Yeah, that was a bit flattering really. I think I'd be nice about it. Okay, but of course... Hmm. One of the cells says your captive lord base was covertly set three during the night. Ooh. Set his men free. His men set him free. Interesting. Damn. Okay. 
Okay. How's his maiming turned out? Why has his wife been imprisoned? Which prison are you in? Uh, Rome is in the state of war. Who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting the blind Rob Stark. For what? Defending Lord Pemmel with the Northern War for Prince Edric Storm's claim on the Iron Throne. What do I do? I might dither. Tempted to dither. See how the north fares and then take our sides. I will not concern myself with this for now. I'm gonna dither. I'm gonna be a ditherer. I want to see how this war, go war goes. Winter is coming to an end. Lovely. This belongs to me. Oh no, this belongs to bloody Odoron. Odoron's too powerful. He needs to be taken down a bloody huge peg. Try to build a war chest? Yeah, he is building a war chest. It's gonna say, he owes us a lot of money. I'm not gonna fight for him as well. Hey, winter comes to an end in Maidstone and Blackwood Vale. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. I don't know how long the first part of this video was when it crashed. Ooh, I'm gonna have to quickly check that. So, sorry, 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 this is a thing. Um, properties. I can't see. Details. Length, eight minutes. Okay. Oh, we got time. We got, like, another three minutes. I stuck. I start married to yeah, you're married in to my family there. Good. Oh, Lisa Tully is dead as well. House Tully is dead. It lives on in the ancestors and descendants from other houses, I guess. Oh no! My daughter has Got the bloody flux. Ow. Oh, I'm I'm now Duncan the Eagle of the Riverlands. Why am I an eagle? Where did that come from? I like it. But I'm gonna just keep dithering, I think. Uh allow the duel between my son and Alderon. Let me know how the door goes, boy. Hmm. Who's on the side of who? You are defending against Lord Paramount Rob.
defending against low power mount Rob. Yeah, they're all defending against low power mount Rob. What is that? Dawn. Dawn aren't in it either. Oh, he's got like a th lack of funds again. So what happens if he can't repay my loan? Hmm. Hey. The craftsman I funded have gotten back to me with more money. So we made our money. Had we not given our that 300 gold away, we'd probably be at um, old stones by now. That's a sad thought, isn't it? Well, I'm going to end this episode here just as the armies of both the North and South almost begin to clash in uh, Riverman Liberation Revolt. Hello. That's nice to see. Uh, as they're about to clash on the plains of the Ribblands without me getting involved. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.